Good morning all. Now I've just received a bag of bits which together make up a mobile power bank. And this is a USB 2600 milliamp hour power bank 18650 charger DIY box case for phone. Batter not included. It's £1.89 from Enan as I call them. Um, now I bought the black one but there are a range of colours available. I thought the black one would be the smarter one. Now when this turned up um, all these bits were just loose inside a big polythene bag and at first I thought ah no screws but in fact the screws were there I just had to look a bit more carefully in fact I had to go out to the bin and retrieve the bag because I'd thrown it away but there were the screws and so all the bits are here. But first let's have a look at that circuit board that's pushed into the end of the plastic carrier there. So a quick whistle stop tour of the PCB. The device bottom right, DW06D, is a lithium cell protection IC. So you wouldn't use a protected cell in this unit, you'd use an unprotected. Um, the device top left, A1SHB, is a P-channel MOSFET, if I remember rightly. The J3Ys there, um, two next to each other, are NPN transistors and they're very close to the two LEDs which are a red one and a blue one so I suspect that's what they're doing. The AL350 I think is an NPN transistor or possibly an array of transistors and down here at the bottom we've got something just marked 17. Well I couldn't find out what that is um, so I'll have to leave that one for now. On the top of the board here we also have a push button switch and the micro USB connector. And on the other side of the board, we've got the full size, I think it's called a Type A uh, USB connector. There's a shock key diode there, SS24, that's 2 amps, 40 volts. And there's an inductor called a 4R7. Now I assume that's uh, 4.7 microhenries, which is a very low inductance, but it's got quite thick wire because it has to handle 1 amp. Now the only data sheet that I could find for the DW06D um, is one that's all in Chinese um, but it's from the Shenzhen Fuman Electronics Company and it is a battery protection IC. Um, if you look up the DW01A then uh, there are English versions of that data sheet and it's a very similar chip just some of the parameters are different. You can see there the 3.6 volt cell on the right hand side of the uh, application circuit. Uh, here's a bit from the DW01A data sheet. A one cell Lithium ion or polymer battery protection IC, and uh, under the description, the DW01A battery protection IC is designed to protect lithium ion battery from damage or degrading uh, due to overcharge, over discharge, and or overcurrent for one cell battery powered systems. Okay, let's put this thing together. Now, first of all, we need to put the circuit board into the plastic carrier slides in like that and the wire sits in some grooves in that bottom um, edge. Right so I need to choose a battery that's going to go inside this thing. I think I'll have the green Sony at the top. Now I found the easiest way to do this is to slide the PCB in part way and then try and get the battery in while the spring is quite loose and then slide the PC in the remaining distance but it all kind of falls apart so it's a bit tricky getting it all sandwiched together but that's kind of it. Now in this position pressing the button doesn't appear to do anything no lights come on but that's because the battery protection IC has gone open circuit if you like and the only way to uh, get it to work again is to plug in a charger into the smaller charging USB socket and then the protection IC comes back to life. So now we slide the plastic carrier up into this aluminium, quite a nice aluminium um, extruded outer case, but stop just short of this pair of holes here because you need to put in the push button which just sits in like that and then you have to turn the whole thing upside down so that the push button stays in place and slide that the remainder of the way. Um, the bottom plastic will push down into the aluminium case 
and that just leaves a little bit of room for the sticker that's going to go on the bottom which sits just inside the aluminium extrusion like that. Now before I put the top on this thing I do want to make sure that it's uh, working so I'm just going to plug in this charger from another oops that slid out from another 18650 thing and you can see that a red light has come on in there so that's now charging let's take that back out and now if I press the switch a blue light comes on so that's um, triggered the battery protection IC to sort of open up and uh, this is now working as a power bank so now I've got to put this end cap on and then that screws in place with these four screws so I need to find a little jeweler's screwdriver so you've got to be a little careful here because you're tapping new threads into the plastic so try and keep the screws straight and just go in gently now if you were doing a full factory style assembly on this you'd peel the backing sheet off this uh, front panel sticker and stick it over the screws but I'm not going to do that because I want to be able to remove this there's a little bit of sticky around the edges so I'm just going to place it on the front there and there's the front panel and the, the rear panel I probably could stick on so perhaps I'll do that so there's the completed mobile power bank with the front panel on you press the switch and the little blue light comes on and I'm just going to plug in my charger doctor to see is that the right way around no to see what's coming out of this thing and we have five zero amps of course and come on 5.14 volts good that looks about right now you don't get any cables with this unit for £1.89 of course um, so I'm using my Nexus 7 cable there's the Nexus 7 tablet running the battery app uh, it says not charging at the moment so let's switch on the power bank and that says charging AC and the little symbol top right has changed so that would seem to work switch off not charging switch on charging that looks good let's try charging up the power bank so I've flipped the cable around the other way um, the micro is now going into the input socket and I'm just going to plug that into my charger and the red light comes on so that's now charging so that's it that's all the functions that this has the button doesn't oh it does actually it switches the output on even when it's being charged from the input I suppose it's fairly unintelligent there's no microcontroller on here but anyway that's the uh, single cell um, mobile charger bank for £1.89